Hello guys, welcome back guys. It's your boy Geography Design here. It'll be a while. Hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to design a fashion flyer using your smartphone and pixel app editing. Without wasting much of your time, if stuff like this is one video to my channel, please do well to subscribe to the channel and do well to turn on the notification bell. Click the bell so that you do not miss any of our future videos whenever we update our channel with a new tutorial like this. Alright guys. This tutorial will be a sh briefly and shortly, but it will be a professional flyer. You need to pay attention carefully so that you can achieve this possible, as I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Uh, first of all, we are going to um, use the normal size of Big Z, which is 1280 to 1280. That is the normal size that we are going to use. Then I'm going to change the background color to a normal white. Just use a normal white like this. Then I will go to my gallery. Let me import an image. I want to import an image. Let's see if we can go with this. And then click OK. And then go to your uh, relative size. Take it to 100. I think this should be OK. And then position it at the center like this. Then I will go to my opacity. Reduce the opacity. Let's take it to 5. To 5. Make it 5. Cool. And this should be OK. And then lock it. Let's lock it. I haven't done that. The next thing I'm going to do now. I'm going to import um, a resource. Um... I will, let's go with this and then rotate this just rotate it like this i hope you are following just keep it at the center cool this should be okay then position it here you can increase the size a little bit or oh, just once once you rotate it like just go to your relative size then take it to 100 like this cool this should be okay then ensure that you position it at the center like this or we'll just bring it to the downside then take it to your left hand side. You can take it inside a little bit. Cool. This should be okay. And then I will lock it. I haven't done that. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to import and, and resource again. I think I can go with this. Then I will position it like this. Take it to the last edge by your right hand side. Then take it and ensure that the, the dark shape of the um, image does not show because it's sharp. Cool. We can go with this. Then lock it. I haven't done that. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring out the text. Let's see. Let's go to our text. Oh, before then. Oh, before then, let's go with um. Let's bring out the logo. Let me import the logo first. Let's see. This is the logo. Then I'll position it at the center. Just reduce the size. Let's reduce the size a bit. Then position it at the center like this. Then you can take it up a little bit. Let's reduce the size again. Cool. I can go with this. I haven't done that. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring out the text. Just go to your text. Then let's see. Remember, it's for fashion. It's for fa the flyer is for fashion. Let's say look classy. Capitalize this, please. Look classy and then click OK. Then position it at the center like this. Take it up close to the logo. I haven't done that. Let's go to our phones. That are the phones that I used recently. I want to go with this particular phone. Then I will go to my color. I will change the color to this particular yellow. Then I will reduce the size. I think I can go with this. Then position it at the center like this. If possible, you can take it up a little bit. Let it be close to the logo. I think I can go with this. I haven't done that. Let's bring out the text again. I 
on this node i'm going to change these fonts just go to your fonts again then give it a new fonts let's go with this i hope you are following i want to go with that particular font then i'll click ok and then go to my letter b bold it like this cool this should be okay and then go to your color i want to change the color to this particular one then i'll click ok then bring out your ruler bring out your ruler then ensure that is at the same enlightenment with this then i'll just go to my position just position it like this if possible increase the size a little bit so that they will be at the same enlightenment cool this should be okay then take it closer close to it like this a little bit cool i think we can go with this then lock it i haven't done that the next thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to bring out uh a text again i want to bring out a text again then let's say we say fabric always capitalize this this that are just perfect for any style or occasion then click ok i haven't done that i'm going to make this too light just make it too light only then I reduce the size then i'll go to my phones i'll give it this same phones which is this this phone then click ok then i will go to my color let's go to color give it this same color then click ok then bring out your roller position it let it be at the same enlightenment with this if you can take it down a little bit that should be okay you can bring it down a little bit let's see if we can adjust this to the right hand side a little bit cool this should be okay then adjust this again just a little cool i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to bring out the list of the things that they can sell which is i've already copied i'll just place it I just want to edit it click ok i haven't done that i will reduce the size then place it bring out the ruler ensure that it's at the same enlightenment with this increase the size let's increase the size a little bit i think this should be okay then i'll go to uh let's see let's go to phones then give it this particular phones let go with this then go to your uh line space just spaces a little bit like this cool make it three should be okay then let's reduce the size again i don't want it to be too bold cool let's make the size six then let's copy copy it then go to edit warp it then place it again remember i have already copied what i wanted to uh write up there already that is how you see i'm just placing it so to make it uh more faster then i'll position it at the center let this be at the center of it then let's see if we can space it a little bit again cool that should be okay and then i will copy this again then edit let's work this out then i will place this then warp this remaining warp the first and the second one 
then leave the last one only then i'll import it at the right as i just position it like this this should be okay the reason why i copy it like this to make it more faster then let's go to light space it will space it a little bit so that they can be at the same enlightenment space it like this cool i think this should be okay cool i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to lock it now after locking it i will just copy this again because i want to use the same forms i will copy then i will bring out a note let's see all all at affordable affordable rates all at affordable rate then let's just i think we can go with this this should be okay cool then let it be at the downside of this of the list of what they can say then let it be at the same enlightenment too cool i think this should be okay i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to lock it then i will bring out the things that um they are selling which is wrappers and then the yard all of that but first of all i'll bring out the ship then go to my texture like this then import the materials that they are selling let's go with this cool then click ok then go to your relative size reduce the size let's um let's make it 10 10 should be okay cool this should be okay i haven't done that do the same thing again bring out the shape again then go to your texture bring out the next material let's go with this then go to your um relative size make it 10 let the size be 10 also cool then i will do the same thing again i want to make it four then go to your texture again Let's go with this. Cool. I haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to match this together just match the four materials together like this this should be okay then i haven't done that i'm going to i'm going to my stroke give it a stroke give it this yellow then you can make it sorry you can make it up to let's say eight eight should be okay and then click okay and then increase the size a little bit Let's increase the size a little bit. Then bring out your roller. Ensure that this or everything are, are at the same enlightenment. Like this should be okay. Then click OK. Let's lock it. Cool. I think we can go with this. Let's bring it down a little bit so that it's 
it's too close to this text cool like this is okay i will know that the next thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to bring up there is a shadow that i want to use on this a shadow i want to import a shadow a shadow looking for a shadow i want to give it a shadow cool i will go with this and then just um increase let it be at the same side then let it be at the back of this like this should be okay cool i haven't done that lock it as well the next thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to import the um address well before then let's bring out um the icon the address icon let's say this then go to your relative size reduce the size let's make it five let's make it five or oh, let's go with the seven that should be okay then bring out your ruler let it be at the same alignment with this cool this should be okay and then change the color we're going to change the color to this same color cool i think we can go with this then go to your text go to your text Cool. Let's say this is the address. Then I will go to the size, reduce the size. Let's increase it a little bit. Then I'll go to my phone. Sorry, I'll go to my phone. Then I'll give it this particular phone. Then um to make it more clearer i think i will need to do a little bit mask let's bring out the shape bring out the shape then go to your gradient then let's go with this i'll be sure i did here i'll be following just click on this bucket icon then just change the color to white on the second notes i just click on the bucket then this one it's it was here before but i drag it like this that's how i'll be able to achieve this i'll click ok then click ok again then spread it like this then let it be at the downside but before then take note let this um marks now be under this text let it be under this icon too so that all this will be clear and then take this up let it also be at the top at the top of it let it not be under so that it will also just drag it up i hope you see what i'm doing just drag it up like this i should have done it earlier cool i think we can go with this this should be okay i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to bring out the uh whatsapp icon whatsapp icon whatsapp icon I guess I've passed it. Cool. Mm, let's crop it. Cool. Then I'll go to relative size. Let's go with five. Then on the color, change the color to the same color. Then bring out your roller and light it let it be at the same alignment like this then click ok i haven't done that the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to bring out the phone number but before then let me just copy this since i'm going to use the same phone just copy and then 
edit let's say the phone number this is the country code this is the phone number then bring it to the downside like this cool let's increase the size a little bit i haven't done that let's go and bring out the instagram account oh just tap this then i will just crop again just go to crop and then let's see instagram then i will bring it to the downside sorry No, no, no. I didn't copy. Before then, let's copy. Hey, cool. Copy and then go to crop. Then mark it like this. No. Copy. Then crop. Then bring it to the downside. Cool. I haven't done that. Let's copy this phone number. Copy and then edit. Let's bring out the um, Instagram name. Cool. So we are going with this. All right, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. God bless you. Once again, I really appreciate for staying by to watch my video. Thank you. And please don't forget to subscribe. Do what to turn on the notification bell. Put it on now so that you did not miss our future video. And if you have anything to ask, please drop it on the comment section, or you can DM direct or WhatsApp. I will surely guide you. See you in the next class.